You're listening to the Real Estate Runway Podcast, powered by Quattro Capital, where we are all about alternative business and investment strategies to help you amplify life and maximize wealth. Here's your host, the recovering engineer turned multifamily investor, Chad Sutton. All right, Real Estate Runway family, welcome to another episode of the Real Estate Runway podcast. I'm your host, Chad Sutton. And today, by popular demand, we are in the inaugural first ever episode of Chad's Soapbox. For better or for worse, there will be no interview on this episode. It will be me ranting on a topic that is near and dear to my heart or something that is fresh of mind in my recent experience. I'm hoping these are value add episodes for you. People that work with me seem to think that when I get on my rants, they're valuable. So here we are on the air. You guys can tell me if you think so or agree. Today, we are going to talk about the cap rate effect on a dollar. And we're going to bridge that into how you make decisions with how to spend your CapEx dollars and your OpEx dollars. The first thing we have to do, folks, is define what those are and why they matter, okay? Okay. Let's talk about the cap rate and have a little in-depth look at this. So for those of you joining me on YouTube, I have a nice visual for you here on the screen. For those of you who are not, I'm going to talk through it so you can visualize this as you're driving down the road. Feel free to check it out on YouTube at Real Estate Runway sometime in the future if you want to see the visual. Here's the deal. The cap rate very simply is a market valuation of the income that a property will bring. That's all it is, okay? It is just a measure of what someone is willing to pay for a cash flow. Because everyone in the world can get different debt terms, they use net operating income in this number, okay? So the cap rate is defined as net operating income divided by your your purchase price, what you can buy the property for. So there's many kinds of cap rates, guys. You'll hear people talk about purchase cap rate, sale cap rate, reversion cap rate. It, it, all of that only means a different point in time, right? So don't let that confuse you. It's still NOI overpriced. That's all a cap rate is. And you know, remember, NOI is not what you're putting in your pocket off of a property. It is the income, the total operating income less the total operating expenses. And for those of you who have been operators for a while, you'll notice that the, the NOI is what people base sale off of, but we can very easily influence that number based on where we choose to book certain line items. Okay. And that's really what we're going to talk about today. So the first thing is, how does the cap rate affect a given dollar? If we think about a chart, what I'm showing here on the table or on, on the screen, and I, again, I recommend you go look at this from Real Estate Runway on YouTube later. There is a cap rate table showing on the on the x axis 10%, 9%, 8%, 7%, all the way down to one. Okay. We don't see things at 1%, but I wanted to show this for dramatic effect. And then on the y axis, we're showing the market value of one dollar in NOI per month. Okay. So one dollar in NOI per month is actually a very good measure because it helps you start to realize, just editing my y axis here. It helps you start to realize, okay, if I save, if somehow, if I increase rents by $1 per month for a year, or if I save, maybe I I lower my utility bill by purchasing a toilet flapper that saves me $12 a year in water. That's not real, but you know, something like that. If I lower my expenses or raise my income in, in turn, increasing my net operating income or NOI by $1 per month. And that is $12 per year. That's what this chart is showing. If you didn't take, uh, if, if you rearrange the cap rate equation and you say, okay, well, I've increased $12 per year. And by the way, the cap, the, the cap rate is calculated based on an annual NOI. So that is a 12 month number. So if I say, well, I have increased my NOI by $12 in a given year by $1 per month, and I then divide that by a 10 cap, a nine cap, an eight cap, a seven cap, a six cap, all the way down to a one, here's what I'm going to see. At a 10 cap, every dollar is worth about $120 a year, okay? So at a 10 cap, saving $1 per in NOI per month for a year will yield you $120 in value, 
That's 120 to one, folks. That's at a 10 cap. That's really, really good. Now let's go beyond that. Nine cap, it goes to $133. Eight cap, $150. Seven cap, $171. Six cap, $200. Five cap, $240. So by the time we go from a 10 to a five, we've doubled, okay, or almost doubled our, excuse me, we have doubled, 120 to 240, our, um, our, our valuation impact. And then if we keep going from there, it just starts to, the curve starts to rise at exponential rate. So my point in saying this to you is, and, and I'll just read through the numbers so you see it. We've doubled our value of a dollar on NOI by going from a 10 cap to a five, but it gets better than that as you keep going. So the, you know, going from a five to a, uh, uh, a three cap takes you to $400 to a one cap would be $1,200. So my point in saying all this is the markets in real estate are compressed. Okay. What does that mean for you? It means that you need to be paying every single attention, every piece of detail you can to what you are writing down as your net operating income, because you're leaving a lot of money on the table. If you're running you know, certain repairs and maintenance and, and things that could be capitalized through your, your net operating income. You're, you're, you're diminishing your property's value by at least 100 or 200 to one, you know, on a given dollar. So you really have got to make sure that because we're in a world today in the market where cap rates are anywhere from three to 5%, depending on the vintage value add potential and, and quality of a given property, Basically, every dollar that you see in month, per month in NOI is worth $240 to $400 on value. Okay, that is a huge, let me say that again. Every dollar that you save or spend per month in net operating income is worth $240 to $400 on value. So why does all of this matter? Let's talk about, as an operator, what is the difference between CapEx and OpEx? You hear this thrown around a lot. Well, we talked about from the net operating income equation, that's total operating income less total operating expenses. Income is pretty clear, at least for an apartment building. It is your rent. It is whatever you're billing back for water and sewer. It is your application fees. Like whatever you're charging people is your income. That's pretty easy. The expenses, the operating expenses are everything from uh, property taxes, casual, property and casualty insurance, uh, property management, payroll, repairs and maintenance, uh, contracted services, general administrative, all those sort of things, right? Excuse me, Apple Watch is going off. So if you think about CapEx and OpEx, OpEx is your operating expenses. Those are what are written uh, above the line or above your NOI. And that is where you're probably going to uh, see the majority of your day-to-day -day expenses hit. But when you're renovating units, you know, it is also very possible when you're doing a value add plan on one of these buildings, it's also very possible to determine, hmm, is this item something that I can put in the CapEx area below the line, right? So let's talk about what, what's an obvious capital expenditure. These things do not hit your NOI. They are below the line. Roofs, Okay, um, replacing windows, replacing hot water heaters, replacing flooring, all of that stuff is pretty clear that you can put it down there. But let's think about some other incidentals, right? Maybe you are replacing a toilet. Maybe you are replacing, uh, you know, carpet for carpet, or maybe you are replacing a sink. All of those things that need to happen some might say, well, I'll just bleed it out of my operating budget and, and bring less money to the table. Well, yeah, that's true. And, and capital has a cost as well. We'll do a segment on the capital stack and what, why that matters and, and what the cost and color of money looks like. But if I have an opportunity to take something from my OPEX, which is expensive, we've already said $1 per month in OPEX is worth $240 to $400 in value, right? And then we move that down to the CapEx. Well, sure, maybe we have to bring a little bit more money into the deal. Maybe it dilutes a little bit, but our value is probably much, much higher. Now let's think about, you know, would we really want to do this? You might tell me, I really just want this property to cash flow. I'm buying this for myself and I want it to cash flow. Well, maybe that's the case. 
in that case, you might want to run more things through your OPEX because you know, you're not really looking to sell the property. So this cap rate only matters if you're looking to sell or refinance the property. If you're just going to keep it in cash flow, then your net operating income and your debt matter. So you want to keep debt down, maximize NOI. And then the difference between that is your take-home cash effectively, right? So think about your strategy. What are you wanting to do with the property? Are you syndicating and your goal is to get to a return in the you know, shortest amount of time possible? Well, then NOI is the game you need to be playing. You need, you need to be making sure you're maximizing NOI and putting as much down in CapEx as you can. If you are trying to keep the property for the long haul and you really want to maximize tax-free cash flow, then the strategy would be put more things in OPEX, reduce the amount of money you might pay in taxes, if any, with real estate and bring less money to the deal and you know, less outlay and just let the cash flow take care of things along the way. So hope this was valuable. This is just a little insight into my brain and why I think about things in the way that I do. But this has been a discussion on cap rate, CapEx and OPEX. Until next time, take care over and out. We hope this episode was insightful and brought value to your day. If so, please be awesome and leave us a five-star review. Find out how Team Quattro can help you at thequattroway.com. Until next time, this is the Real Estate Runway Podcast.